Hello guys, so let me show you a little overflow with Blender and Houdini. This is not a tutorial because I'm a beginner to Houdini and uh, I will show you this because the workflow is interesting. So I made this object. This object is fully editable. Okay. But sadly, on Blender, we don't have a merge modifier. And if I check here, I have some vertices that are not merged. Okay. So what I want to do is to send this object to Houdini and come back to Blender with the object merged. I don't want to make, uh, to apply everything, to go in edit mode, to merge the object, etc. I want to make it uh, as fast as possible. And uh, I will show you this. So select your object. First, remove the last modifier, the last bevel, to have this result, okay? We will add the bevel in Houdini, or we can add the bevel after in Blender. Select uh, File, Export, choose OBJ. Uh, choose Selection Only here, and since I update, I edited uh, Houdini to use this up, I will choose the up. Add a name and export. As you can see, this is pretty simple. Now come in Houdini. This is the Houdini Apprentice. This is free. So this is really nice to learn. And I will go in File, Import, Geometry. I will select my object and I will accept. So I will have this result. This is the node of my object. I will come here. On this one, I will click here and I will press Tab and choose Fuse. Like that. I will activate it. And just to show you uh, if it's working, I will click, no, not you, you. I will activate, uh, fin, change the setting to 0.1, and I will click here. So as you can see, if I disable it, if I enable it, okay? So that should be okay. I will click here, tab, bevel, bam, and I will have my bevel. I will activate it, and I will press enter. enter to accept and as you can see now I have my result and everything is correct shift W boom this is correct so no need to go in edit mode no need to select the the the, um, the vertices to make merge etc etc so what I can do now is to select this one RMB save geometry I will click here I will select this one alter from Houdini I will accept it and I will accept I will overwrite it. Okay. Once it's okay, hopla, just have to wait a little. I will come back to Blender, File, Import. I will choose a ref front object and I will select this one. I will keep the vertex order and I will import. And I forgot <laughs> to uh, use the, uh, let's see, Alt R, the, uh, the axis. So I will press G to move it. And now, as you can see, hop, I have my object. Everything is edited, uh, is uh, updated. And this is nice. Okay. So uh, one thing, I forgot to edit the uh, part of my other object. That means on this one, I forgot to edit one part since I edited this one. I will click here, normally, yes. I will change the screw to uh, 60, like that. That will fix this object. As you can see now, this is correct. I will go File, Export, OBJ. I will select this one to uh, overwrite it, Export like that. I will come back in Houdini and I will select this one. And as you can see, I have the roller geometry. So what I will do, if I come here to see the difference, I will click on reload and bam, that will fix it. So just now, select, save geometry, accept and overwrite, bam, and come back in Blender, select this one, bam. Once it's okay in Houdini, I will go file, import, Refront this one. I will choose easy up. Bam. Import. So as you can see, I will just move it up. Yep. Now everything is correct, and here everything is fixed. So you don't have to go in edit mode, you can do everything directly uh, with Houdini. And for me, this is uh, pretty interesting. You can also, if you want to edit this one, I will, uh, I can press Shift D to, to duplicate. I will hide this one and I will edit this one. I will go in the array. I will play with the count. 
to have a less uh, less count like that. I will select my other object because it's made from several objects. Uh, not you, uh, tata, not you, you. In fact, I will hide this one. Yes. On this one, I have a displace in Z and I will play with S to edit it. Yep. Just like that. Or I could have made something different. So let's see. I will edit it like that. That means I will come, select this point, and I will move it in Z. Up. Shift to slow down, and like that. So let's see. G, Z, Shift, place it like that. Okay. So uh, maybe I could select the other part. Up. Up. And move it pour, to have something like that. Mm, no, I will keep it like that. Okay. So I will select this one. Okay. I will file, export, obj. I will make another name. Let's see. Uh, two, the other one. Everything is correct. I will export. And in Houdini, I can, uh, if I want, uh, just uh, select this the new object here. Accept. And I will have my new object. And everything will be done. That means the merge will be okay. The new bevel will be okay. Just like that. Oops, sorry for that. And I will press save. And geometry. I will select uh, another one. So let's see two. Bam. Accept. Come back to Blender. File. Import. Could be nice to have a bridge to uh, do uh, this in uh, one click. Import this one. Boom. And that's it. I have my uh, new object. And the uh, merge part uh, is uh, already done. I could have uh, added uh, some auto UVs to add auto UVs directly. Yep. This is, uh, this is possible. Let's hide this one. And as you can see, this is nice. I can now add a subdivision surface if I want. Or if I want, I can come here and why not add uh, open VDB. So let's see. I will zoom on this one. Shift space. I can come here. Tab VDB. I will choose VDB from polygons. I will click here to see the result. Okay. Maybe I need to add a subdivision surface. So let's hide this one here. Press yopla, my bad. Up, tab subdivide on this one to have this result something subdivided. As you can see, this is nice. And now let's activate this one. I have to wait a little. The result is not... Uh... Yes, it's correct. Okay. Uh, I can decrease the um, open VDB, but first I will add VDB and I will add a smooth, VDB smooth, and I will activate it. That will smooth a little. So let's first edit this one, 0 0.05. And normally I should have something better. I have to wait a little. So this is better, as you can see. I could reduce again uh, the uh, the thing, but I will keep it like that because that will take too much more, too much time. So I will add a new one, uh, VDB. I will use the convert. It's uh, the bottom convert VDB, and on this one I will choose a polygon. Boom. I will click here, and that will convert this in polygon. So that's it. As you can see, this is pretty fast. Uh, oh, the result is uh, it's not so bad, in fact. Perfect. I love it. So this is my VDB. This is everything. I can just uh, select this one. Yep. Save. I will choose geometry. I will select uh, this one from Houdini to... I will make a VDB like that. And I will accept. And now... Ah, I forgot to use one, uh, one thing, but uh, I will show you this after. So the export was pretty, pretty, pretty uh, slow because uh, I forgot to use the adaptive. So that means if I zoom upla, on my wire, as you can see, this is this. So let's see on this one and uh, no, on this move. Yes, 
Uh, no, no, it's not on this move. Uh, it's uh, the adaptive. Where is the adaptive? Uh, boom, boom, boom. No, no, I'm here. Or maybe here. Adaptivity. <laughs> Point zero zero one. Boom. As you can see, I'm beginner. <laughs> so the adaptivity will uh, do this. The result will be the same, but uh, you will have uh, less uh, less subdivisions. And I can decrease it again. Let's see, zero one, maybe not sure. I have to wait. Uh, it's not. Uh, it seems to not be better in this case. Let's keep uh, zero one up, and I will export this one. So this is better. So now let's save it. Save geometry. Uh, VDB accept up yes and that will uh, save it. Okay, so let's see in Blender file import obj VDB import. So that's it. I have my object G. Boom. This is object with open VDB as you can see. The result is pretty okay. And let's see the wireframe. Boom. So this is her way of frame. Okay. So uh, I think you 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 can you can understand the uh, power of this. Uh, if you need to make uh, open VDB, you can do this. And the interesting thing is that once you have uh, made this, all of this, you just have to select uh, the object you want, and you just have to export. That's it. As simple as that. That means if I come back and I select the first one on this part. I will select the first one, this one. Everything will be updated directly. Just have to wait a little. And once it's updated, you can just export it. So let's wait a little. And that's it. <laughs> and everything is already done. The merge, the open VDB. Uh, if you want, you can add UVs. You can do whatever you want of this object on this object. And you just have to uh, save this one. Save this, uh, make uh, a subnet, or create a digital asset from this. Expose the option you want to be able to edit. If you want, you can expose just this. You can expose uh, the subdivisions. You can expose this uh, voxel size, and after the adaptivity, and that's it. In one click, you can uh, create, uh, uh, do the same, just like that, and export. Boom. File, save as geometry. I will come. And I will choose up. Uh, it's here. One. Enter. And I will accept. And I will have my object directly. And voila, my object, my new object in Blender directly with OpenVDB. It was fast. Just have to select the object. And that will fix everything that will make the, uh, the result you want. And this is nice. And with this, you can, in fact, uh, make different versions of this. You can, if you don't want a poly bevel, if you don't want subdivide, etc. You can create all of this and make a subnet. Uh, you can, uh, oopla, again, I'm sorry. You can do whatever you want and just uh, select your object, make the, the, uh, the, uh, the unwrapping, etc., etc. That will make it and that will work. So for me, this is uh, nice and uh, this is a good uh, good workflow with Blender and another software. So uh, just like that, uh, that's it. <laughs> so I'm still learning Houdini and I will try to um, to make it work with Blender. I think I will use more uh, than previously because I wasn't using it before. But I mean, in my next videos, uh, I think I will use both. For example, uh, the uh, unwrapping in Houdini is really powerful, and uh, I need to learn this to make it to make it work correctly. The unwrapping, the baking, etc. You can do uh, all of this uh, with uh, editable assets and uh, just update, enfin, export to Houdini, uh, load, ex uh, <laughs> uh, make some no a node like that and after export but uh, once i made it one time with the option i want after i just have to uh, load the file and export to blender and that's it i will have my um, my asset uh, unwrapped uh, triangulated uh, etc etc 
uh, with uh, low poly, high poly, etc., etc. So that will be uh, really interesting. Okay, so I will stop here. Hope you like this video and um, don't hesitate to try Houdini and to uh, to show me uh, some workflow if you want. And see you later.